Hello and welcome back to the next video in our series on Excel Draw version 4. In this video what I'm going to be covering is I'm going to be showing you how you can use the command line input window, how you can load a previously created DXF document, and how you can activate your version of Excel Draw. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the input command line window, which is right here, and it's labeled as the input window. If you click on that, you will be greeted with a new window right here that says for you to either select a previously created sheet or create a new sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sheet. If you'd like to name it something else, you can, or you can leave it blank for the default naming system. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sheet right here. And it's going to be asking me for my inputs. Now, with the inputs, you can either do lines, rectangles, circles, all the objects that you can create with Excel Draw normally, right up here in the Objects tab, you can create here. If you're used to AutoCAD and other drafting software, then you're probably going to be used to this window. Most drafting software use a command line input similar to this. So with this command line input, you can actually type in what object you want to create, for instance, line, and then you can hit enter and then plug in your dimensions. You can also do shorthanded abbreviations for the objects. For instance, L is the same thing as line. So with every input that you have, you need to put enter as well. So I typed in L. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit enter and then it asks me to input my values for x y and z so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to type in negative three for the x hit enter now it's asking me for the y so it's going to be negative three and then the zero which i'm going to have as zero and now it's going to ask me for the second input line so x2 y2 and z2 i'm going to have it be three three and zero again and then it's going to go ahead and it's going to create a line for me and generate a graph, which we have right here. So I'm going to show you another object you can create, rectangle, another simple object. All you have to do is type in R, and I'm going to put in the same dimensions, negative 3, negative 3, 0, 3, 3, and 0. And as you can see, we now have a box that was created there as well. Next, we're going to be looking at how you can load a previously created DXF drawing. And how you do that is you go up here to the Load Drawing button. And then right here, you can see that another window pops up, and it's asking you to browse for a DXF document. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select one. Now, these are the same projects that we opened up previously, and I'm going to go ahead and test one of these out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this one so we can see it. And as you can see, we have the DXF document off to the side right here. And then we have all of the objects that Excel Draw recognizes right here. And if you do open up a DXF document that was created with another application, Excel Draw will only recognize the objects that you can create inside of Excel Draw. For instance, if there is a triangle in the DXF, Excel Draw is not going to recognize that because it can't make a triangle. And I know that AutoCAD cannot either, but some uh, drafting software do allow you to make triangles and objects like that. But for Excel Draw, you can only open up objects that Excel Draw will create. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you right here, we have this opened up, we have all the dimensions, and I'm going to go ahead and hit import. When we do that, it's going to ask us if we want to import it to a specifically named sheet. and it will always create a new sheet when you do this. You can just tell it what the sheet name is going to be. And the reason for that is because every sheet inside your Excel document is going to have a different graph on it. So since you're opening up a previous drawing, you're going to want to start a new sheet for all the objects to be on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it at the default. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going through, getting all the objects lined out. And it's working on graphing it. And then we run into this. And this is what you're going to get if you are running the trial version of Excel. You can only graph up to 15 objects, which is perfectly fine for this. And then it's asking us to be redirected to the purchase page. And no, we're not going to do that right now. But whenever you do import a DXF, you are going to be greeted with the graph orientation window. And you can see that we have 15 objects, which are the arcs that we created, and those are graphed for us. So we have a 15 object limit. 
So next I'm going to be showing you how you can activate Excel Draw. And how you do that is you go over here to the Extras tab and then you select Activation. You're going to be greeted with a window right here which is going to tell you about a license file, how you can obtain it, and it's going to ask you to input yours. So as an example, a license file is 10 characters long, so I'm just going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And then I'm going to hit activate. And then you're going to come up with this window right here. And obviously, 1 through 0 is not a valid license. So it's coming up and it's saying that activation of the license failed. Make sure that you typed it in correctly. So whenever you do activate it, it's going to come up with another window saying, hey, your program's been activated. You're all good. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to activate one off screen. Okay, so we went ahead and we activated it. It was very quick, only took about a second. You input the license and it comes up with a little window that says, hey, this license code beep is activated. All right, so once you have this activated, you can go ahead and you can either click the generate graph or you can click the graph orientation window. And when you do that, it's going to repopulate the graph for you. Let's drag that over here. And there you have it. We now have our previously created DXF document that we had before and we have full functionality. So all of this was opened up with a previous DXF document. All we had to do is just activate the license so we could see with all of the plotted objects. All right, so thank you all very much for watching. Uh, as of right now, I believe we've covered all the features inside of Excel Draw. Now, that's not to say we won't have another video in the series because I am always trying to listen to my customers and find out what you all want. So if there's anything that I missed or something that you would like Excel Draw to include, please leave a comment down below. I am always willing to look into adding things to my software. So if you would like to leave me a comment, go ahead. I would love to hear from you. Thank you all very much. And until next time, have a great day.